Welcome back guys to a brand new video from Harry's Transport Diaries. We start the video today at Ashford and we are overlooking Ashford International. Today we're going to be travelling to Wareham but instead of going the usual way, going via London, Waterloo and Waterloo East, we're going to be travelling via Eastbourne or Brighton, Southampton Central and finally, well, to our destination which is Wareham. Our ticket today cost us just under £23, which is a bit of a bargain, but considering our journey today takes us around six hours, I'm going to see whether it's worth the money or should you just pay to go via London, which takes just under half the time. So, but before we get our service, we're going to be going to Western Hangar, a station that I've never visited before, to film some Eurostars and some regional southeastern services. So. Let's leave the travel lodge and let's get straight into the video. Just to quickly add before we move on, I didn't actually give the price of a standard single from Ashford to Wareham, which comes in at around £57.65, which is just over double the price for around half the time of travel, so it makes sense. So let's get straight into the video. So guys, we made it to Ashford. Um, our train to Western Hangar was meant to leave around 10 minutes ago. There's a signal failure, I'm guessing in around London. I think it's about um, around Orpington way. So our service has been delayed by around 20 minutes, which is fine. Just hopefully our train on the way back to Ashford isn't delayed. But yeah, not really a lot coming in and out. There's a, some 376s over there, or 375s. Might even be 377s. But, um, yeah, not, re not really a lot going on. Just m mainly ECS moves. We've got a Eurostar going through in a minute, but it's on the other side. So, yeah. Here's ECS. Here's a 377. So, yeah, South East and they're just playing catch-up at the moment, it seems. But I'll keep you posted. So, little update. It has not been a good start. Um, it is now 11.45. Our service has arrived, but we've got no guard. So, we're just waiting for a guard. But now, half an hour late. So, yeah. Doesn't really seem worth it for an eight-minute journey, but we move. Finally on the move. Next station is Western Langer. In around four minutes' time. So, we're only like 50 minutes late so we've got around a I think it's about an hour and a half instead of two hours which is fine hopefully we get to see some yellow stars and some fast um, 395s so yeah let's go right guys so welcome to Western Hangar um, we haven't really seen a lot it's been quite quiet I don't think the delays have really helped but if we just have a look so there's the regional uh, tracks on the right hand side and we've got the high speed lines on the left and we've seen a couple 375 that I was on there's a 375 that's just departed we saw a 395 passing at the exact same time as my 375 left I missed out on a 373 Eurostar by about two minutes due to the delay to my train getting here which is like a massive kick in the teeth um, yeah we're waiting on the 1221 Southeastern service to London Charing Cross, which has just left Dover Priory now, which is 34 minutes late. Um, I'm hoping my service back in the other way isn't too late, as we have about an hour before our southern service over to Hastings. So yeah, I'd love to come in in the summertime and spend all day at Western Hangar. It's, it's got the potential to be a great station. It's just um, weather delays and whatnot and. There isn't a Eurostar scheduled for another half an hour, which is only one from come over for Amsterdam or Brussels. But yeah, I do sort of regret coming here. I could have got a lot more at Ashford, but it's another station ticked off the list. So yeah. Right guys, we're pretty much done here at Western Hangar. We've got four minutes to our train. The station itself is actually tiny, just down a little garden track pretty much with segregated platforms 
So it's back on one, going back towards London. We're on the 13 to New One Service 2 Charing Cross, then going as far back to Ashford. And there's platform two, I was just stood down the very far end. But platform one's got a great viewing area of the high speed lines as well. Have a great view up to the top. So, I have really enjoyed it here. It's a shame there wasn't too much more going on. But I'll definitely be back here in the future. Now let's get back to Ashford for our southern service. Alright guys, little update, made it back to Ashford, just been to the shop, get some snacks for the train and now we have got our six hour, well just under six hour journey back to Wareham as you see a 395 on platform 5. So yeah, we've got about half an hour until our southern service arrives and we'll be getting straight on it. Um, trying to get the best seat really. So yeah. If you're enjoying the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment if you've ever done this journey before or partial parts of the journey from Ashford to Hastings or Orr or wherever. Let me know down below. I've never done the journey, hence why I'm doing it today. So let's get into it.
So we made it to Eastbourne after an hour and 25 minutes on the train, a 10 minute change to our 15.55 service to Brighton via Lewis, so we're going to get that in a minute, just come for a 10 minutes fresh air. As the station to our left. Lewis, please mind the gap between the train and the platform.
Lewis, please change at Lewis for train services to London, Victoria, and train services to Sydney. Yeah, yeah, I hate when when someone's looking at something. Like, you can't really just see it once they're in one episode. Yeah, I want to see that. 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 Yeah,
the train when the doors are closing. This is a great western railway. to change at Haven for our final service to Southampton Central but that was cancelled due to a points failure so I quickly hopped down to Fratton and changed for the GWR service which was a very close connection of about a minute and we got here with uh, 10 minutes to spare to our South Western Railway service to Wareham and which is our final connection back to well obviously like I said Wareham so pretty hectic day we're, we're on the home train. Customer announcement. First and icy weather conditions have been forecast on the Southwestern Railway network during the evening of Tuesday, 16th of January, and on Wednesday, 17th of January. If you're planning to travel on the evening of Tuesday, the 16th of January, on Wednesday the 17th of January. Please ensure that you have a full journey in your travel if there is a possibility of short notice alterations and cancellations. For the latest information, I would say got to start bomb and take some weeks to go on. Oh amazing. That's a hell of a day. Yeah. Yeah. They might be paid for it later in later next week. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If you give you a good job you definitely get a better job further down the line. After leaving Southampton, I didn't really see much point in filming anymore as it was dark and there wasn't really much to see but as we arrive into Bournemouth that only means one thing and we're coming to the end of our journey. With around half an hour left, we made it to Wareham. Bang on time. And that marks the end of our 5 hour and 52 minute journey from Ashford via Eastbourne, Brighton, Fratton and Southampton Central. So if you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.